ഹായ് വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ സെഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇ ആർ പി ഗൾഫ് ട്രെയിനിങ് സെഷൻ സോ ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിങ് യൂസർ ആൻഡ് പെർമിഷൻസ് ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ വൺ ഓഫ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ലെസൺസ് ഇൻ ഇൻ ഇ ആർ പി ഗൾഫ് ഓർ ഇ ആർ പി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓർ എനി ഇ ആർ പി സിസ്റ്റംസ് സോ ഫാർ ഇൻ ഓൾ അവർ പാസ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോസ് വി ഹാവ് കൺസിഡേർഡ് ഓൺലി വൺ യൂസർ ഹി ഡസ് എവരി തിങ് ലൈക്ക് ഹി പ്രിൻറ്റ് കൊട്ടേഷൻ ഹി പ്രിൻറ്റ് ഇൻ വോയ്സ് ഹി മേക്ക് സപ്ലയർ ഇൻ വോയ്സ് ഹി മേക്ക് ഡെലിവറി നോട്ട് ഹി മേക്ക് എവരി തിങ് ബട്ട് കമ്പനീസ് ഡോൺ ആക്ട് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ടു ഇൻ ഇൻ നോർമൽ സിറ്റുവേഷൻസ് യു ഹാവ് യു ഹാവ് മാനേജേഴ്സ് യു ഹാവ് ഓണർ ആക്ച്വലി യു ഹാവ് മാനേജർ എം ഡി സി എഫ് ഒ സി ഐ ഒ മീൻ സെയിൽസ് മാനേജർ അക്കൗണ്ട്സ് മാനേജർ സെയിൽസ് മാൻ സെയിൽസ് മാൻ ഓർ ഡാറ്റ എൻട്രി ഓപ്പറേറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓർ കോൾ സെൻറ്റർ ഏജൻസ് ഐ മീൻ you don't know so many purchase manager and storekeeper there are hundred types of people so far we we don't consider this we started like like any startup one one man entering everything now we will grow eventually and we know we we will have all of these people in this company so how you manage it for example how we stop a storekeeper watching accounts like company profit and loss and everything or a salesman seeing the data that owner must see or a call center operator prevent call center operating operator watching sales managers database i mean everyone has an ia figures screen and we should restrict each of them in their own position this is it, it, it's an easy to understand concept but there are there are three four things that we must know first there are users and there are permissions and when we are doing this users will have certain roles that is so we will have a role based permission and they have record based permission so first i'll i will say what is the role based role based permission so what are roles i show you what are roles here let's go to a quotation if we if we have in watched our past videos please go ahead and watch it so this is one thing that you do when you are reaching a quotation you are adding you you can create a new quotation and once you are creating new quotation what you can do there are certain things that you need to do i mean you can do that is print a quotation or email a quotation duplicate a quotation i mean this are all just operational new quotation and when you when you save a quotation before we have discussed even in the first video we have discussed this case that you you make a quotation and once you make a quotation i'll just make a simple one a simple quotation we are sending to customer 02 and we save it once we save it we have discussed in the past that once you save it you need to submit it this cannot be same people this can be same people if you are very very small company but you know once you have sent a quotation to a customer you normally buy to give them you, uh, with the same price somebody made a mistake saying that they quoted 18 real but actually it was 20 real 
because he is a junior data entry operator a junior salesman so he you, you don't know so he made a mistake here so you don't know so there normally there is a verification process before somebody submitting it so there are many steps one is new new quotation somebody making it a salesman or somebody then somebody submitting okay so someone can print someone can send an email and maybe someone can change it so we will call it amend someone can delete it there, there are there are many process there are many process so these are all you can have permission to only one guy but normally in a big establishment or enterprises this all all of these steps are important so we will look into that where we will put it see we let's say we create a user we create a user i'm going on a search path because i don't want to go through all of that i'm creating just a user like some tony tony i create a user called tony even creating a user it need a permission that is that's obvious otherwise if everyone can create every user then what is the point oh what did we do tony at p com tony so you did a okay in the tony once you create it i get a once you create it now let's see he has certain roles to do in the company when tony joined the company we know once we recruit him there are recruiting process hr and uh, and things that we will come back later in another session so here we he has certain roles he has certain roles so let's assume as, as a as a junior uh, as a fresher we are asking him to do certain jobs that is one one let's say managing you know there is there are certain roles for if if you click on here there are certain predefined roles you can see account manager auditor and all hr manager item manager stock user purchase user so there are there are certain predefined roles for example if there is a purchase you purchase user he can do certain things like uh you you know i supplier you know he can do things like material request he can do, do things like he can read i mean you see it here at the levels i'll tell you when you are defining you can you can define it like whether he can read a document i mean read a screen uh, write it create it delete it submit it cancel it amend it report it import it uh, export print email share these are all permission levels all of these are permission levels and if you if you want to manage it very granularly in a company it takes lot of time so we have we have predefined so we just you can get it but if you if you want it like there is something you want to the predefined you want somebody to do both customer quotation and uh, let's say for supplier supplier invoice or a delivery note you ask him to do these two jobs maybe that that role is not predefined here that role may be I mean, some roles because you somebody get a lot of free time so you ask him to do certain other jobs so you don't have a predefined role so you can you can add a predefined role there is a role list this all the roles are you can see there so we can we can do something like a special role 
some role so in the special role you can you can do you know you can just role permission manager and this in the role permission manager you can uh, let's say because it's, it's quite big and i don't want to drag this video on and on and on so i'll just just for showing i'll, I'll just show you like what he can do like a quotation a quotation he can if we can assign him a role like there is no role now so i will just add a, add a new role quotation add so on the quotation what what he can do we can define it In this particular role we can define it like he can select create cancel email export so again i am not repeating it you, you can add add one you can submit i mean whether he can submit or normally for a junior staff we don't allow submit but he will allow him to print i mean uh, you can allow him to write so we created one one special role and you can when you on the users on the user list for tony you can say this special role you can assign special role for him a special role just reload see here special role came system manager now so this tony he has a special role now and maybe if you want you can assign his roles like hr user like some uh, managing some cvs and so helping some recruiting process we assign him special role and hr user maybe you can give him some other roles in this case let's say tomorrow some other employees come with the same level of job and you you do all of this again back actually we can do something like profile something like the role profile this is i'll i'll explain you that profile there is a profile role profile list so the you you can create a profile here like what profile zero one four new stuff i'm pretty bad at this uh, naming and here we can say special some roles you just define it for this profile okay so when you are creating a new new employee some you know you, you are a company a big company a coca cola or something like that and you have every day some employees joining in so you create a profile a tony and then put something like add in here so you have one more employee joined today called edin and you have a predefined profile here that is profile so you just put it here it will all come here automatically so whatever you have prefined there it will come from new employees so whoever joining you will just have it so this is the user profile and you you define it uh, this is the now I, we have okay then we have for tony like let's say stock user if you want to assign stock user how this this is for each each document you can have permission this is what we have done today 
and the next session immediately we will follow the another session that will do record record permission you know how the record permission works you have two new salesmen joined the company let's assume and you give them permission to print quotation so you assign some one salesman to do business with these two people and another salesman to do business with these two people so you don't want them to see this or you don't want to them to see this so you need for the certain customers you need permission for certain users for certain customers you need add other permission for them. or maybe you need somebody you have an accounting staff joint and you want them to them to see some some accounts in in chart of accounts it's not all for let's say you you can allow them to see certain bank account but not all bank account you are you are okay him to see bank account you you don't want to him to see bank account but you can allow him to see cash in hand because he his account staff he count this I mean he he is collecting money from the cashiers so he can see cash in hand but he cannot see bank account this is not okay this is okay so this type of this is record level so far we have learned how to manage a user to see what he is seeing i mean like whether he whether you need you need to allow him to see any of it because you can allow somebody to see chart of account someone to do journal entry someone to do sales invoice someone to do both of this but not this not this somebody to do this and even somebody is doing this you can allow them to add new and uh, you can allow or you don't allow them to print and uh, somebody to submit and print and like that so we we, we in the next video we will rec- discuss record record level permission record level permission or user role or something like that so we will we will do it next in the next video so please wait for that do subscribe our youtube channel so whenever we are releasing new you you will you will know thank you thank you very much for joining us today we'll meet you tomorrow on on